Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, my, uh, my landlords just stopped by to break the news. So, as you know, I've been up in the air. <laughs> the deadline was supposed to be Wednesday again of this week. That was stretched another week because they were having trouble confirming the people's uh, loan and income kind of thing because they're from Europe and they are new arrivals to Canada. And so they had to confirm all the banking and et cetera, et cetera. Plus they're not, first language isn't English. So they had to get translated documents and a whole bunch of things. And then on Friday, finally on Wednesday, I messaged the landlords again because uh, I, you know, I kind of need to know what's happening. Am I moving? Am I not moving? What's going on? And uh, they said they, uh, they're still having trouble. They gave them one more day. They gave them till Thursday. So they gave them till Thursday. And um, I didn't... I don't, I don't have my phone right now, so my landlords can't reach me. My phone is in for repairs. Oh, by the way, if you're trying to reach me right now, sorry, I'm tr I, I don't have a phone. Uh, it's in a service center getting fixed. Uh, they didn't have a loaner phone that fit my card. So I'm stuck without a phone for the weekend and it's driving me nuts. Um, but but uh, yeah, I, I've been up in the limbo. So I said, I, I guess I'll know on Monday when I get my phone back. But my landlords popped in today and they had big smiles on their face. And I went, oh, I think this means that the house is sold and that I don't have to move. And that's exactly the case, which is I'd like to say um, great news, and I'd like to say, but it, <laughs> in my head, I'm still going, oh, you know what? That new office had built-in shelves all behind me, and it would have made a great studio for filming these videos, and then it had the double car garage, which was huge and everything, and then the landlords, while we were talking and having this discussion and everything, they go, but you know what, do you really need that? And I go, no, <laughs> I absolutely do not need, this house is bigger than I need by, for my lonesome here, absolutely. But they are such a nice couple. This is one of the first, I think this is the first time I've met her. And I met him one time before when we, I first moved in and they were making sure the house was done right by the builders. Him and I did a tour of the house kind of thing. And uh, she came over and uh, I met their kids and they just popped in to tell me the news because they couldn't reach me by phone. I wasn't answering as yet they wanted me to know. Uh, and also they, uh, they dropped off a little gift to me here. And um, they just were so appreciative of me offering to move into a more expensive place and doing it as fast as possible to help them out and being so patient during all this time and everything. And it really wasn't no like, hardship on me. I'm still in this house, you know, uh, but I could have been one of those people who said, nope, I need three months notice. I need this. I need this. You, you know, you get, you know, et cetera. Like I've been one of those guys who just don't want to move and you, you can't make me kind of thing. And I was here. I was, I was actually saying, no way you have this other place. You're having trouble with it. It's a hardship. Maybe I can help. And they were working with me, lowering the price of how much I would have to move in there. So all in all, I think uh, I'm, I'm going to be very happy that I did not move because I love my house. All my stuff is built for this house. I ordered my furniture for this house when I moved in. I have my arcade upstairs that I play all the time. It's perfect for entertaining at Christmas time and guests and everything. And it has lots of room for recording here, my green screen stuff downstairs, my movie related stuff in the other end of the house. And it's got a ton of storage and I don't have to change my address. And again, I don't have to change my driver's license, my health cards, my insurances, all that kind of stuff. I don't have to do that now. 
and I'm very happy. I get to stay in my house and I don't have to spend a ton more money. Um, I don't have to spend, you know, close to a thousand dollars more a month just to rent. I don't have to buy all new blinds and curtains for a brand new house. I don't have to feel obligated to buy furniture because the house is bigger and I need to fill it, which I think I would have ended up doing. I think I would have ended up going and getting things that I don't really need just to make the house not seem empty. So the best news possible, I think, is that I didn't have to move and I don't have to spend that expense. And so now that I don't have to move, what was the first thing I started doing? I started looking at cruises in February and March because now I don't have to move. So <laughs> I just got back. I just got back literally a, not, not even a week yet. And uh, I guess I just love cruising enough that I want to get out there. But I had to, I didn't know my phone was gone. They couldn't reach me, but I get to meet them in person and they are such a sweet, nice couple and I hope all the best for them and I hope that we can continue this relationship for a long long time and if they ever you know get into stuff like that I hope they know that they can you know rely on me to work with them as much as I possibly can and uh, they were really, really nice in fact when they were here they said oh we'd like to maybe go on a cruise uh, this uh, this summer late summer and everything like that and I and I told him, just reach out to me and I'll lead you in the right direction. And I said, you know, you don't have to book to me or anything like that. I just want them to have a good cruise. It would be their first one ever. And so um, I guess I'll be guiding my landlords on their first cruise. Well, that's my update. Hope you appreciate it. I do. I get to stay in my house that I love. I don't have to move. I don't have to have a whole bunch more expenses. I get to stay where, I, where I'm very happy. So until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation. Go! <laughs> that was great.